Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marin and I'm your host today and I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. We will look into Panasonic. So Panasonic decided that they will produce 10% more batteries, so a bigger output by 2024. For my understanding, this is only including the current production, the new projects that Panasonic is planning, and of course, with that, the bigger output, that is not part of the 10%. So this is very good news, and J.B. Schrauber actually made an interview, a presentation, um, recently and he was talking about the issues when it comes to battery supply but not only the battery itself but everything you need for batteries and Tesla has been announcing a lot of news regarding lithium contracts mining contracts etc etc and no other company in the car business um, is even coming close to all these announcements to scale production and get everything they need to produce cars. And so JB Schrauber really goes into details that there will be a shortage at some point. Recycling will be very important. And so I think Tesla is um, just expanding and planning already its future growth and of course future lead. In Germany, the supercharger situation, there was a study that the way Tesla is actually using the superchargers is illegal. Um, don't make too much um, yeah, news about it. There is no law yet that is um, telling Tesla to do it otherwise. Um, we just have to wait for the regulators to give informations. But again, it is not only Tesla, it is as well other car makers. So just calm down. There is no big deal about it. We just have to wait if the government is deciding any on that. And this is going to affect not only Tesla, but other car makers as well. Looking into Europe, we clearly see VW Group. Again, this is Europe, not, not worldwide. VW Group is leading, but it's declining, as you see. Um, Tesla on third position behind Stellantis, which is actually um, doing quite some good job when it comes to EVs in Europe. And we have then Hyundai and Renault um, behind Tesla. Again, this picture is going to change a lot by 2023. We all know Giga Berlin is going to produce so many cars that this is just going to be um, a totally different graph by next year. I do expect even Tesla to lead this statistic. Then we have Glovy Summit and the Morning Coros that are actually um, in Southampton right now. So if you're from the UK, you should receive your car very soon. The Herx St. Petersburg is actually um, going to Livorno. And from there, um, the cars will be delivered to South Europe. So Austria, South Germany, Switzerland, maybe some in Italy, maybe some in Slovenia, Romania, depending um, on how many cars are actually for each market on this shipment. So um, looking into China, we have here news that actually Tesla China or the production site in China, Giga Shanghai, is having a 95% localized supply chain up from 90% at the end of 2021. So again, this is a good news. Um, they are doing a great job over there. And this is going to be the same in Austin or Giga Berlin at some point. For Giga Berlin, we still receive batteries from China. Um, so I hope that at some point when we have production of batteries and of course CATL or other um, battery suppliers building factories in Europe, this should help as well to localize the entire supply chain and not be so dependent anymore on China. Of course, it can still be Chinese companies in Europe. Then looking into the Tesla stock, we do see here the euro price. Um, based on one year, we are up by close to 58%. If it comes to year to date, we are slightly down by 10%. Um, but I think it's just a question of time over the next maybe two weeks um, that Tesla is going to go into the green side here as well. Then we have from JPR projections here, um, a projection of the Tesla stock. This is, of course, um, not including the um, split that is coming very soon. But we clearly see here um, that there is so much more potential when it comes to the energy sector, the FSD, autonomous driving, then of, of course um, the solar business and like so many other stuff that is going on with Tesla, not only car business, um, that I think the 
um, investors will realize the potential. Some of them may be late, but they will do that. Then in the US, Tesla is actually having an um, get grew by 61% in the first half of 2022. This is exciting because again, guys, this is still without Austin. So they increased their output and registrations by 61% even without Austin. And that is just astonishing. So just imagine what um, growth we're going to see now with Austin. Um, as well, like with um, Giga Berlin in the European market, I would say that we're going to see major, major numbers by next year when the first full year is happening. Here we have actually the on side of Austin again. Um, there's um, official statements that um, say that Tesla is able to build a mega pack station. Um, it's going to be somewhere on the right side. Um, if I remember the um, words of Joe Tickmeyer correctly. Um, so we have to wait um, for confirmation here, but it makes a lot of sense. And this entire story with mega packs is actually something that is um, very important to consider, especially for me as a German and the European market, um, as we are currently having already a lot of wind energy, a lot of solar energy, um, but their infrastructure of um, saving this energy for the time that you really need it. So uh, power wall or mega packs. So this storage business, um, that is where we are still lacking here in Europe. We have many times during the day too much electricity, which we cannot even use. And sometimes 80% is green energy, but the infrastructure and the amount of um, storage is not yet there. So this is a major, major business, not only for the States, but as well for the European market. So I actually hope that at some point, Tesla is going to build a factory like in Nevada in the European market and it's going to provide its power walls at a price that no other competitor can um, provide solar panels, solar roof, etc. That would be actually a major step um, for announcing a new factory in Europe. And this would be actually pretty exciting because then people would have a lot of variety of products that they can choose from. And I think Tesla would be able to be very competitive when it comes to pricing. So um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, you have been here for a long time with me. Some of you have been following me, by the way, over a year right now. Um, I must honestly say I really appreciate that you have been with me and um, just wanted to say thank you so from, from time to time it is needed to do so. Um, I always try my best to um, have an English that you can understand and that um, makes you happy to listen to. And I do wish you a wonderful day and hopefully we will see you back here tomorrow. So take care. Thank you very much.